Hello friends, today I am going to give you a give you a secret how to rank a website in Google or in other search engines. So today I am going to give you 21 extraordinary SEO secrets that will help you to get higher ranking in search engine. So most of you know that uh, what is SEO. Uh, if I am not wrong, most of you are digital marketer or SEO expert or, or if you are, or some of you have a website or running your website on Google and different search engines. So today I am going to give you the 21 extra ordinary SEO secrets which will help you to get higher ranking for the long term. Why? Because SEO algorithm, Google algorithm change after every time and google engineers don't confirm that which update we have made right now so every day every month google uh, google releases updates but google consider only few of them like mobile update was a big update that's why google uh, google confirmed that they have made an update so similarly there are so many updates but today i am going to give you the 21 extraordinary SEO secrets that will help you to get higher ranking even there is any other update in coming months or coming years so these 21 extraordinary SEO secrets will not give you will not only give you higher ranking but also give you higher conversion on your website so let's start let's start with my introduction my name is Anand Kumar Jha I am a I'm a SEO expert with more than seven year experience and I have worked for many small businesses and startups and I have given a high ROI through my strategies, through my plans. So, so I'm a Google India certified partner. I'm a HubSpot Academy USA non marketing learner. So I have more, mostly worked for the e-commerce portals and I have my clients in USA, UK and mostly in India. So let's begin the 21 SEO secrets. What are those 21 SEO secrets? So number one is extraordinary keyword research. Keyword research is the base of any SEO. If you if you choose right keywords, you have most of the work done. If you choose wrong keywords you, uh, your base will not strong and at last you will be frustrated because you have not chosen the right keyword so number one is you should choose the right extra, uh, right keyword so if you choose the right keyword you will it will save a lots of time you waste on your money and on your time and on your energy so how you should uh, research your keyword and how you sh uh, what type of keywords you should uh, research so it's depend upon your website your business business website so what type of conversion you want because if you have a business website mostly you want conversions on your website so it doesn't matter how many traffic on your website but it matters if there are few traffic if there are few numbers of traffic on your website and you are getting conversion it means a lot because uh, either you are uh, whether you are getting thousands of users on your website and most of them not converting on your website then that doesn't mean if there are few uh, users on your website and they are giving you the conversion they are giving you the sales they are giving you the leads it matters a lot so how it's uh, happened it's happened only with the basic that is the extraordinary keyword research so the here I have listed four types of keywords. Number one is informative, number two is commercial, number three is navigational, and number four is conversational. So informative keywords are those keywords how to do, how to, how to type of keywords are the informative. Commercial keywords are those keywords which are related to your products and services. Navigational keywords are those keywords those who land on your brand website. For example. If you go for a Facebook, you type in Google Facebook and you immediately land on the Facebook uh, home page. Similarly, if in earlier days, what you do, you type a long URL to go to any website. But in nowadays, 
you just type a brand name in Google and Google gives the results of those pages related to you. Similarly, if I type Anand Kejha, it's given, it will give my all results like just like that. I have to I I don't have to put all the URLs on pageha.com to open a website. Simil, uh, simple I have just entered a Anand Kejha and it shows uh, the results related to my website. Similarly, if I type um, uh, if I type, uh, if I type uh, Facebook, it will show results like that. So, this type of keywords are navigation. So, you should consider what type of navigation keyword should be. So, if you are giving your services, if you are giving, if you are uh, selling products, so you should also consider this navigation keywords. Number four is conversation keywords. Yeah, conversation keywords are most important. Why? Because conversational keywords are those keywords which have a terms like uh, which uh, which have a terms which convert your audience to uh, your leads. So there are uh, there is a buyer uh, buyer journey. So it uh, firstly we got uh, we aware the uh, customer. Then we uh, tell the information. Then we uh, convert uh, convert it to the sales. So uh, it, this is a buyer uh, journey. So in that conversational uh, keywords, what it does? Conversational keywords are a type of keywords which uh, allow them, which allow users or call users that you should uh, buy this product, you should take these services. You can use this keyword like uh, um, best products for uh, uh, best products for fitness, uh, best type of fit band, best fit bands for um, healthy uh, healthy body. It's just like that. So uh, you should know what type of conversion keywords are there, so you can uh, uh, use it uh, through through your SEO SEO campaign. So, these are four types of keywords you should consider while uh, doing keyword research. I am not going deep into it because we have 21 type of SEO secrets. So, I just I just give a brief, uh, small introduction how to do keyword research. So, keyword research is most important. So, you choose the right keywords. Uh, when in few days, I am going to uh, launch a video on extraordinary keyword research we are giving the explanation how to do keyword research so number two is user friendly website and its architecture yeah. so google not only um, give rankings to those websites whose relevance is important google also give ranking to those websites who have great user experience so after the introduction of rank brain google um, checks the user experience uh, how google checks the user experience like how long user stays on the website is the website is friendly mobile friendly uh, is the website have high bounce rate so this type of factors we will consider while giving the ranking so um, uh, you should make your website user friendly and its architecture also the so firstly you should do make your website mobile friendly secondly should you should add dead terms that terms are most important. Why? Because it does not. It doesn't only give the directions to the user. It also tells the boards that how your pages are arranged, how you, how, how was your uh, internal linking of your pages, how your pages uh, going on. So it, it helps boards as well as user also to understand your website. So third one is avoid irritating pop-ups. Yeah, most of the people and most of the websites to earn like you know, those who are bloggers and earning from Google and some they use different type of pop-ups to um, gain more earnings to gain more um, um, leads. So it doesn't work. Why? Because a recent update of Fred uh, consider that if you have some too many pop-ups and you have less content, you will be Penalize and this will this won't help. I don't say that you should not add pop-ups, but you should avoid pop-ups. You should use light pop-ups. You should you sh uh, you should only use one or 
one pop-ups like you can see the forbes.com website if you go to the forbes they have a pop-up but they have a limited time and that doesn't irritate and it gives a user experience so you should consider that that pop-up doesn't make user um, bad it feels user delighted so fourth one is avoid more css and javascript above the code you should avoid css and javascript because you know that if your website will be faster user will stay if your website will not be faster user will go back to the again searches and it it will affect your seo so you should avoid css and javascript above the fold above the fold is a section of your page when when user see while going to your website so number 2 is you make a website user friendly and its architecture number 3 is more high authority linking what does it mean uh, you know that uh, internal linking works but most of you don't know then how to do internal linking how to do internal linking like you have 100 of pages i consider a website you have 100 of pages and you have a website uh, three years long two years long one year long so during this duration if you have done seo you have done back linking and you will uh, you will know that some of those pages have a high domain authority you don't know but when you are uh, going to start a new adding a new page you should give links to those high authority pages and you should take those links from your high authority in, uh, internal pages for example if you have a page if you have a page which is 2 year ago and you if you have if you are if you if you are going to add a new page so you should give a link that um, 3 years ago page to this one insta, uh, new page so it will help you in ranking so number 4 is avoid unlinked web pages yeah avoid unlinked web pages there are lots of pages like if you have a 100 pages website there will be uh, there might be a um, situation where you have a pages um, no, those have no searches those have no use so and even those pages are not linked overall uh, in your pages so avoid it you should link those pages uh, in your current pages in your previous best pages if you don't do this you know, this will affect your seo so if you have a page you know, which uh, which doesn't uh, have any uh, searches and you are not getting any searches from that type of page you should reconsider it you should uh, either you should add content on the pages or you should leave that pages you should make uh, you should add a um, uh, robert dot robert to tag that no index uh, no index based pages so you can use this page but you should avoid online web pages number five is schema markup optimization schema is uh, also the most important because uh, after 2005 around 2005 google introduced schema so schema is important for e-commerce websites schema is important for hotels websites schema is important for every um, type of uh, like uh, recipe and this this type of websites have required schema schema doesn't help um, schema helps the bot google bot any other search engine mostly google bot give you give information about your website like if uh, if you see if i go to facebook and facebook has this type of knowledge graph how it appears it appears due to the schema uses uh, if i don't know google uh, if if we don't consider it facebook is a well-known brand so google will also give it uh, knowledge graph if i if i am a small brand which is not so popular like facebook i will use schema markup to show this knowledge graph and to show uh, show this type of so uh, different type of results like i can show my prices of product i can show my ratings of products in uh, in the results so schema markup in that way helps a lot if you have a stars reviews in your searches you, there will be more chances that your uh, results will be clicked so it also improves the click through rate 
after implement after clearly implementation of schema marker you can check your schema marker if the, it is working or it has some error on schema uh, on structure data testing tool of uh, Google. So number five is covered. Number six is create AMP pages. AMP pages are accelerated mobile pages. These pages are well considered by the Google in mobile searches. If you go and if you search in mobile for different queries, you will see that most of the pages are AMP. AMP pages are those have a flash type signs in within the searches so it represent the pages are amp amp pages uh, opens faster as compared to any other pages that's why google consider amp pages google has another service uh, like google web light which uh, which also helps in opening the most uh, pages faster but if those if if the pages have an amp then there will be a more chances that you will get uh, higher ranking and you will get uh, more traffic so if i consider the last uh, last one year data i can say i can say that uh, most of the mobile searches are amp pages searches if you support amp pages then it's well and good so don't forget it you should start uh, you should create amp pages for your website for your landing pages even for your services and products number seven is regular website health checker yeah this is important because uh, most of SEOs and most of you know, website owners who know a little bit about, about SEO uh, they don't know that regular website health check is important why because there are some conditions where somewhere uh, lots of people are working on a website at the same time there, there may be a chances that some of the pages get broken during that or uh, uh, during the long duration of time, uh, somewhat those pages are not required, or and you delete it. So uh, this causes some uh, uh, type of uh, problems in your SEO. So what I have considered, I have listed some points to check those points in a regular website check. Number one is page page speed. Yeah, that, that's important. You should check after three months after six months what is your page speed number two is mobile friendly pages you should also check whether i have added some video or whether i have added some element which is not mobile friendly you should check it number three is website security sometimes your website get hacked and you don't know so you should uh, consider and you should uh, you can use different type of services to avoid this uh, uh, security uh, drawbacks but website security is more important so you should use different type of service to avoid malwares and different type of hacking practices so website security you should also consider website number four is 404 pages you have many 404 pages either you should redirect it uh, to your home page or the new page that you have similar to that page or you should uh, you should add a robot no index so number fifth is crawlability of website. We should also check the what is the crawlability of website. From where you can check, you can check it from Search Console. Uh, you can check how how crawlable is my website. And in the new web in the new Search Console, Google also give alerts about um, crawlability issues, indexation issue. Number six is indexation of website. Yes, this this can be also checked in Search Console or Google that's a free tool by google for the web masters so you can also check two things you can check uh, probability index session and number last is uh, and the last one is links this is the most important you should check in the regular website health checker links are more important because if you if too many people are involved in your SEO making back links and you should consider how is your link profile so you can use the paid tools or you can consider a search console which is a free tool by google to see how many type of links how many links you have and how type, which type of links you wish to have. if you found any low quality link you should use the disover tool of search console number eight is enhanced click through rate yeah click through rate is important by the introduction of rank brain rank brain also consider that how or how much is your click through rate if you if you if there is 10 searches on a 
SCR to Google SCR to and third uh, third results you getting more click as compared to the rest of the seven it will give ranking boost so consider click through it how can you improve your click through it work on your meta tags work on your title work on your description and even work on your schema codes if you can implement it will work number nine is add unique and long content content is the king of SEO but yeah this is true content is the king of SEO but you should add unique and long content it means that you should add a thousand word content most uh, minimum thousand word content and it should be unique it doesn't mean that if you are taking from content from this website this website and you just post it no you should research for it you should use data you should use graph you should use this infographic in that content if you have a long content which delights the user it will give a ranking boost number 10 is don't forget web content creating audience yeah most of you don't know that uh, we only create content for the customers we only create content for the only um, giving information but we um, we don't consider those people who have a blogs who have a websites like uh, um, similarly if i am going to give this 21 SEO secret those bloggers those SEOs have a blog they will give uh, links to they will, they will give a link to uh, my page so it will boost my ranking also because backlinks are important for ranking similarly if you are running a business if you are running your services you should make pages for those people who have websites so they will give you a link back to your website number one is upgrade old web pages so we have we have uh, talked about to uh, avoid the unlinked pages so again we on 11 point we are talking about upgrade old web pages there are pages which are old and we are not getting searches on you should immediately optimize those pages you should add new content you should uh, make you should have more content on that page and you should republish it so it will give a ranking boost because if you republish 10 of the pages and there will be a chances that one or two pages will give you traffic and give you ranking on that queries number 12 is leverage question based queries yeah leverage question based queries is important because in coming years voice search will be any um, data proves that more than 50 percent searches are voice searches so you should don't you should take it seriously you should work on those uh, queries which are question based so like um, what are the different types of seo long term long tail keyword and with question so you should uh, you should take this query question based queries from Quora from different type of forums communities that what type of queries they are uh, if you see this screenshot I have written aerospace engineering invention and Google is giving my website in a non in, uh, zero result that is due to the hummingbird so it matters you should give answer you should give answer to a query so if you write a long content and you have an answer of particular query then google will give a ranking boost and even in voice search you will be delighted to know that if if any answer is in your answer if you if if is is there any answer or answer of user query in your page google will display it more better like this it gives a very high traffic so you should consider this you should work on question based queries number 13 is, uh, 13 is more giveaways yeah giveaways everyone likes free material so giveaways are important give a free ebook give a free uh, 10 days services anything which you can give uh, free to your uh, user it will delight them and they will come again and again for new offers so you should give giveaways but you should i don't know so what type of business you have but you should consider giving giveaways if you can number 14 best use best seo tools yeah. tools are important for having great seo 
performance because tools not only help in, um, in analyzing the data they also help in improving the performance like there are some tools like sanders hrf mol explorer they, they help uh, very well in us at the same time they are costlier uh, for indians mostly for indians because um, they are small blogger and so 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 because these products are mostly for from foreign countries like usa so um, they charge us in dollar so if you have a budget for tools paid as you do you should um, consider this you should take the services of paid as you tools there are some free tools which provided by the google like search console analytics google analytics and um, google correlate google trends this type of uh, tools are provided free by the google so you can also use it but at the most level at the top level you should consider free tools also number 15 is add affiliate pages affiliate pages are important if you are running an e-commerce or if you are giving any type of services because people ask for, for different type of question related to your services if you are giving services or if you are giving any type of product so uh, adding FAQ pages is important number 16 use all features of SCR yeah SCRP evolved from last one year we can see that uh, there are um, rich snippet searches there are image searches there are video searches there are local searches there are video searches even there are some social media searches also and news searches also so uh, i have taken a cons uh, uh, i have taken an example of audi i have written audi that's a navigational keyword it's giving audi main website and its related news is and its uh, nearby location so uh, it's uh, it's a google place it's a google news it's a website a google search so you should consider these uh, areas of scrp you should consider paid results you should consider local packs image results video results organic results rich snippet google answers so you should consider all these things during seo so how can you capture these areas in seo you should think out of the box. these uh, these all 20 points are out of the box SEO. I have listed these all points after a long research and after considering, after reading, after interviewing, after reading the materials of the highest use. So you should consider, consider this 20 points very seriously. 17. Beware of search engine algorithm. So you should keep a eagle eye on every search engine algorithm update. How you can do this? You can subscribe the service of Google Webmaster central or you can uh, use website uh, search engine journal or mouse page for uh, getting the recent algorithm updates they give a right accurate data on any algorithm update so number 18 is infographic yes infographics works infographic most of the people uh, have considered and supported their infographics uh, infographics are important in this because infographic give lots of backlinks if you if you create a valuable uh, infographic with data with uh, analysis with survey so it gives a high ranking if you create infographic on that parameter on those elements with those elements so infographic so what you should include in infographic data with graph survey reports sketchy graphics source link fan name you should consider these all things in the infographic which will give you a ranking boost and also a, a branding 19 is local search results again most of the searches are locals from last two years from last one year i i see that if i search for the query google mostly show the local businesses for uh, over those queries for example if i type IELTS coaching google will show nearby institutes who those who provide health coaching training so you should consider this uh, local search results number 20 is guest posting guest posting works and you know most um, most of you know how to do guest posting in the laptop but how to do guest posting 
is not important it is important that where you post because if you post on a website which has a low domain authority they will allow you to post but in this this will not create a value it will give you a ranking boost in after one or two years because they have low authority but it will not give you traffic or it will not give you conversion you should consider those websites those have higher traffic and those have higher engagement like if you post any blog and it will um, they will start posting questions comments on your um, blog so it will work it will give you conversion so you, and it has high authority so you should consider domain authority during uh, guest posting and you should also check different blogs whether they have comment or not number 21 is influencer marketing the last one and very much important influencer marketing is not so uh, easy you have to create a uh, relation with your industry influencer so every industry has an influencer I, if i consider e-commerce if i consider health if, if i consider travel so you should make a relation with the influencer and you should give the content which delight the influencer and he or she will like to uh, which he will he or she will like to share on his social media on his website so it will not only give you a ranking boost it will also improve your SEO it will also improve your traffic and uh, conversions so you should work on influencer marketing so these are some points 21 SEO secrets which I have um, summarize in this post you can know if you have a website and you are struggling with SEO you can consider me you can call me on this number or you can give a call back over there you can give me a call back over there and I will call you and give you the right suggestion for your website and that's it thank you thanks a lot have a great day and Wait for the next video and don't forget to subscribe me. Don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks a lot.